the importance of including physical activity in a care plan are twofold, I would say. First of all, it helps treating patients. It makes you better. It makes you feel healthier. It's also important in the prevention of uh, worse health in the future. So if you have a chronic condition now, it's important that you stay physically active in order to prevent um, more rapid decline. And we know that patients who have a more active lifestyle will decline more slowly than people who have a sedentary lifestyle. I have a moderate to heavy degree of uh, asthma and uh, I had it since I was around uh, six years old. I had uh, you know, early memories of trouble breathing and waking up at night, being scared going to sleep because it was tough to, to breathe. Voor de training kon ik mijn dagelijks werk niet. Gewoon koken, dat ging, maar aankleden, kousen aandoen, dat was echt problematisch. Lange wandelingen was uitgesloten en een kleine helling werd ook al te veel. Het dus. leven is totaal veranderd. Je moet voor alles moet je iemand vragen en dat, dat, dat accepteren is eigenlijk het moeilijkste van, van, van alles. Probably one of the best treatment options to improve physical activity in patients with chronic lung disease is pulmonary rehabilitation. Because in the pulmonary rehabilitation program, you improve the extra pulmonary features of the patients. So you improve muscle function, for example, and you reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. And they both have a positive effect on the self-efficacy of the patient. I think it is a challenge to convince patients to uh, go to a pulmonary rehabilitation program because patients tend to stay at home in their own safe environment and they tend to leave therapies to the pharmacological side and what we ask here is to, for them to become active and to take an active part in their own disease management and that uh, requires a different mindset from these patients. This is of course the combination of the pharmacological treatment, which is optimized during a rehabilitation program, program as well as the non-pharmacological treatment. So the exercise training, the occupational therapy, the nursing, counseling, the psychological counseling, uh, the dietary counseling, and so on. And the combination, the comprehensiveness of that intervention will result in an increased physical activity. We all read the studies on the effects of pharmacotherapy and COPD. Uh, related to, let's say, minimal clinical important changes. And I think the changes we see during the rehabilitation program sometimes really much exceed these changes you can achieve by pharmacotherapy. Op de verschillende toestellen werd altijd gecontroleerd bij het begin, tijdens en het einde van elke, be uh, elke beweging. Nou, ik heb uh, ja, ook die, die, die fiets gereden op de rollenbank. Maar ik heb het vooral op pijl gehouden. En twee keer in de week sporten bij de fysiotherapie. Uh, dat, daar moet je dus een programma draaien van een uur. Met fietsen, met lopen op de loopband en met uh, fitness toestellen. Weer met, met zes kilometer per uur. En, en, nou ja, iedereen die zei van, jongen, jongen, moet dat zo hard? Die liepen dan bijvoorbeeld. Dus ik was echt herboren. And I saw an advert for some doctors who wanted to do an experiment they called the asthma marathon. The idea was that they would take a small group of asthmatic and give them the right examinations, the right treatments and the right training in order for them to fulfill the New York City Marathon nine months later. In that controlled setting, uh, I also felt more confident than, than usual because uh, you knew there are people around you taking care of you and were used to the situation and used to dealing with the situation. It's also something that patients need to invest in. They need to invest time. Uh, for example, to do proper exercise training, it takes at least eight weeks of training three times a week for at least 30 minutes of hard training. That's much more complex than taking a puff or a pill, of course. And so I think that people don't see this as their priority. Patients often don't see that as, as their priority. So we have to work together to make sure that we can convince patients that this is actually probably the best thing we can do for them in terms of their long-term uh, health management. On the other hand, I think we need to convince policymakers that pulmonary rehabilitation should be accessible for everybody uh, everywhere in, in Europe and, and perhaps in the world. Pulmonary rehabilitation has been proven to be cost-effective. There are studies where they show that if patients are 
doing a rehabilitation program directly after discharge from the hospital. They stay away much longer from the hospital in the year after the program. And also the time of length of stay is clearly shorter. Part of that is probably due to the fact that they are stronger in better shape. Part of that is probably due to the fact that they have learned to manage their disease better in, uh, after a pulmonary rehabilitation program. We also understand that the current capacity of pulmonary rehabilitation programs is not enough to rehab all those patients. So in the near future we have to increase the capacity of those existing rehabilitation centers. So we need more financial resources for that. We need to create new rehabilitation programs. And we also need to increase the awareness amongst young doctors who are currently in training that pulmonary rehabilitation is part of the modern management of patients with COPD. For the health community to better understand the positive effects of pulmonary rehabilitation, I would clearly recommend them to read the latest ATS ERS statement on pulmonary rehabilitation, which was published in October 2013. It gives a very nice summary of the positive effects of rehabilitation and how you can start up a program and how you can implement that in your treatment and management of these patients. What, what we see in patients with chronic lung diseases is oftentimes that these patients are being told there's nothing we can do for you. And what is meant is there's nothing we can do for you in terms of curing your lung condition. And that's true. In chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, for example, uh, these are patients that will have the disease for years to come. And they have to realize this and actually have to try to make the best out of those years. And making sure that these ill lungs are in the best possible body is an important step forward in terms of their disease management and their health management. En uh, nu kan ik terug bij vrienden en kennissen meegaan, een stukje wandelen en zo, dat ik allemaal niet kon tevoren, dat nu wel terug gaat. De dokter die heeft dan bakkerij, de bloem indragen, zakken van 25 kilo, waar ik toch over vier maanden niet moet aan denken hebben dat te kunnen. En nu dat ik vier maanden verder ben, moet ik zeggen, is, dat, is er veel veranderd voor mij. Dus op mijn kleren geen problemen meer. Trappen doen, even diep. I've been able to kind of break my own prejudice about myself and what I was able to do. And it makes me want to, you know, push myself even further. And I think also it, it makes me want to uh, challenge myself in new ways. I do it because it's a way for me now to check my health and uh, to check uh, that I'm doing all right, taking care of my body and taking advantage of that gift that has been given to me. I want, as I come back to the end, I want to point 1, to be able to point 2, the opening dames do, and point 3, the summer sure. So all three have been done. I hope, but I'm also convinced, that the non-pharmacological treatment, like pulmonary rehabilitation programs or physical activity coaching programs, will become more prominent in the treatment and management of patients with chronic lung disease. It has clearly been shown already that they have beneficial effects on various outcomes. So in the near future we should implement that in all treatment guidelines. Well, on this moment I say that I more enjoy my life again. Uh, the alone zijn falls me iets minder zwaar omdat ik terug meer beweeg en, en terug meer onder de mensen kom. Definitely try to challenge myself, set myself a goal, saying is this uh, asthma condition, is this really going to define my life? Or will I try to, to use my strength and uh, try to define my life myself and make asthma a lesser part of it?